Cristo. Hello, this is Dominic Sonic Fox McLean, and I'm here with Warner Play Latino um, doing an interview for them. Who is your favorite Mortal Kombat 1 character so far and why? My favorite Mortal Kombat 1 character so far has to be Kenshi. They made him a puppet character, which has never been done before in an NRS fighting game, and when I was playing him in the beta, I was like, this is the coolest character in the entire game. What, at what age did you start playing Mortal Kombat and how did you discover it? I started playing Mortal Kombat about the age of four, I think. And I discovered it through my older brother when I was watching him play Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. I like first watched him pick Lee May and just start doing stuff on the screen. And I was like, this is the coolest shit ever. So I wanted to pick it up. And then ever since then, I've been a Mortal Kombat fan. Which character story do you most identify with or think could relate to your life? I guess they like maybe the closest to be like, like Johnny Cage's since he's like all about like stardom and stuff like that. And that's actually something I experienced. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's a much more longer pondering question, so I don't really have a great answer for that at this time. But I would have to think about that a little bit. With which character did you win your first Mortal Kombat tournament? Melina in Mortal Kombat 9 was the very first character I ever won a Mortal Kombat tournament with. Um, she was easily my favorite character, and I remember winning my first major over Kevin the Man using her. The competitive Mortal Kombat scene is constantly evolving. How do you adapt to new up updates, patches, and the changes in the game meta? Well, I'm a professional fighting game player, so it's imperative for me to always, always, always pick one of the best characters or meta relevant characters, no matter what. So if they nerf one of my characters and I truly believe they are no longer good in the game, I will pick a better character. It just, hands down, I will just play a better character. That's how I stay up with my competitive scene and how I keep up with all the other players. Tell us about a particularly memorable or intense match you've had in tournament. What made it stand out to you? Easily one of the most memorable and intense matches I've ever had was against Ninja Killer in Mortal Kombat 11 at Final Combat. I remember it because I was at like 1% of health versus like half his health and I made a full life comeback twice against him in that same match. Um, and that was a really important match to win because that would determine who would go up 2-1 in the final combat tournament. And that was like the biggest Mortal Kombat tournament of the year. So it was important for me to really, really cross that out against him. In the competitive scene, players often form strong rivalries with each other. Do you have any rivalries that have filled your motivation to improve and how do you handle the competitive tension with fellow players? One of my favorite rivalries is between Ninja Killer and Dragon. They alone have helped push me to some of the greatest extents I've ever been pushed to in Mortal Kombat. Dragon's a really close friend of mine and also a really good training partner of mine. So him and I going back and forth and training, just trying to be better than one each other has been wonderful. And I'm the only person to consistently take Ninja Killer out in tournaments. So it's just been a really, really fun rivalry. And I'm happy to call these people my friends as well. In such a competitive environment, mental fortitude is crucial. How do you handle nerves and pressures during high stakes matches? The easiest way I describe this answer is through experience. I've been competing for about roughly 12-ish years now, so I'm already well versed in being at the highest of high stake matches possible many, many, many times. Um, so you just have to really, really get a feel for it and experience it, and then eventually you'll be able to quell these tournament nerves more and more. Mortal Kombat has a passionate and dedicated fan base. How do you interact with your fans and how important is their support to you? I love interacting with my fans on Twitter and like I love memeing on Twitter using my persona and stuff. Um, there are fans that have helped make me who I am today and have helped make me be more comfortable with who I am and I can forever thankful for them. So I try to do what I can to go out and support them. Even here I'm like I don't usually play Mortal Kombat 11 anymore, but here I am in Mexico City playing it just for the fans because I figured they would want to have the chance to play it with me. So um, I wanted to give them that opportunity, give them to meet me, take pictures with them, and yeah, I love my fans and I'm glad they love me. Aspiring players often look up to pro players like yourself for guidance. What advice would you give to someone who wants to improve their skills and become a successful Mortal Kombat player? The best thing I can say to do is learn how to learn, um, practice well, Find a community that you can play with, whether it's online or at a local tournament. Push each other. Have that motivation to want to be better than other people and do whatever it takes to get better. It's gonna take some sacrificing, but with the right amount of mental fortitude and right training regimen, I am a firm believer that anybody can be good at Mortal Kombat. This was Dominic Sonic Fox McLean with Warner Play Latino, and thank you for watching this interview.